Okay, so by request, I'm going to explain how you figure out trig ratios when the terminal arm is on the X or Y axis. Now, if you go back to uh, one of the previous lessons where we talked about how you can determine theta, uh, sine of theta, cos theta, tan theta in terms of X, Y, and R, you had, um, you had these ratios. So sine, so theta was in here you'd say opposite over hypotenuse, which would be the Y over the R. And similarly for cos and tan. So what happens when we have these points on the circle and we're at 90 degrees here, or at zero? So we're gonna start with zero down here. So the coordinates when the terminal arm, so that's the arm in red here, is at this point, then you'd say, well, the sine would be Y over R, where y is zero, right, y is zero, and the radius is always one. So the radius here is going to be one, and these are these points are going to change depending on where we are around the circle. So at zero or 360 degrees, the sine of theta will be y, so y is zero over r, which is one, so sine is going to be zero. Right, zero divided by one is zero. Okay, so the cosecant though is going to be r over y, right? Because the cosecant of theta is the reciprocal. Whoops, I did that twice. So r over y. So r over y now is going to be one divided by zero, which is undefined. So it's going to be undefined. We can't have the um, we can't have a cosecant of zero or 360 degrees because we're doing r over y. So instead of zero divided by one, now we have one divided by zero. Okay, so let's go to uh, the cos, cos of zero or 360. So in this case, cos is x over r. So if x is 1 and r is 1, then the, cos the cosine is going to be 1. And you know that because we know what the cosine function looks like, right? It goes like, like this. So the cos of 0 is 1. The secant of theta. So this is going to be 1 over 1 because... In here, we had 1 over the radius, so this was 1 over 1, right? So if I flip that, it's still 1 over 1, so this is still going to be 1. Now, if we do the tangent of theta, y over x, so the tan of theta is going to be 0 over 1, which is 0, but the cotangent is going to be 1 divided by 0, so the cotan, remember cotan, theta here is going to be x over y. So if I put x over y, now I have 1 over 0. Oh, goes down here. 1 over 0. So again, that is undefined, and I haven't left myself enough room. Okay, let's go around the circle, and we'll go to the sine of 270 degrees. Well, let's go back to 90, so we'll go around this way now. So that was our zero, now we do 90. So at 90 degrees, we have the sine, again, is y over r. So y is one over r, which is one, and one over one is going to be one. So the cosecant is going to be one over one, again, right? If I flip one over one, I still have one over one, that's still one. Okay, how about the cos? The cos of theta is x over r, so that's 0 divided by 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. But the secant is going to be 1 over 0, which is undefined. I'll write it that way this time. The tan of theta, tan, is y over x. So tan is going to be 1 divided by 0. So no solution. But the cotan is going to be 0 over 1, which is 0. Because it's starting to come into uh, 
into view here for you now. It's all about the X, Y's and R's. Okay, let's go to 180 degrees. So at 180 degrees, sine is Y over R, Y over R. So that's 0 over R, which is 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. Now let's make a quick sketch of that one just so you remember that, yeah, that's really true. I did know that. So here's sine, here's 180 degrees. What's the sine of 180 degrees? Zero, yes, we did it. The cosecant now is going to be one over zero, and that is not defined. So here, when you go to draw the, uh, the cosecant graph, you'd have to put an asymptote because it doesn't exist there, and it doesn't exist here, and it doesn't exist everywhere you had a zero because when you do one over that, that's going to be undefined and your function ends up looking like this in the end. Okay, I'll just, I don't know if you're doing that in your class or not. It's not really a grade 11 curriculum, but that's okay. Okay, so the cos of theta is x over r. x is minus 1 over r, which is 1, so that's minus 1. And I flip that over, 1 divided by negative 1, same thing. Okay, so those are like the points that are going to be here, right? The cosecant of 180 degrees. These points will be, um, it's going to go like this. Okay, and the tan, tan is y over x, so 0 divided by negative 1. 0 over negative 1, that's going to be 0. And what's 1 minus 1 divided by 0? That's undefined. Okay, and then finally, the last one I'm going to do for you is the 270 degrees. Our coordinates at 270 are x is 0, y is minus 1. So here, this is x and y, right? Don't get... And my r is 1. So the sine of theta is minus 1 over 1. So that'll be minus 1. 270, look right here. That's this point here, right? 270. The cosecant, 1 over minus 1. Same thing. What is the cos? Cos is x over r, so 0 over 1. 0. But the secant is 1 over 0. Undefined. The tan is going to be y over x, so that's minus 1 over 0. That's not defined. But the cotangent is 0 divided by minus 1, which is 0. And there's your whole table of values for any trig ratios that lie on the X or Y axis. And I hope that helped you out. Bye.